This little automaton has been programmed to prescribe a square. All it does is to travel in one direction for a certain distance, then turn through 90 degrees, follow the same distance again, ad infinitum. It's able to perform this feat because it's using a special type of motor, the stepper motor, which we're looking at today. Stepper motors are controlled by coils, and when the coils are pulsed in a certain sequence, the motor will step a certain distance or a certain angle. These motors are essential to our use, especially in things like 3D printers, and I'll just go and show you my 3D printer now. Looking now at my 3D printer then, there are multiple stepper motors used to position the various axes. Down here at the bottom, each side, it controls the Z movement, the vertical movement. At the back there, there is the stepper motor which positions the bed itself backwards and forwards. Off to the side here, you can't see it, but behind here, there is the Y axis positioning in this way. And finally, yet another stepper motor, which feeds the filament down into the hot end to extrude it. The fine control enables you to print out objects such as this new canopy for my Pixlr glider. And you'll see similar arrangements in a CNC machine or indeed a laser cutter. Now to the Eligu simple stepper motor example. We have a detailed description of how the stepper motor works and the various ratings which you can read through. The wiring diagram here is not quite complete. Although it shows the four sets of coils inside, there should be a wire here and a wire here between the two coils, which is the positive lead. If we look closely at the connector, we can clearly see the five wires, the four for the coils and the plus, which is the positive connection. The little controller board conveniently has LEDs to show when each of the coils is active. And here's a description of how it's connected to the motor and how the coils are switched to perform the individual steps. Normally this goes too fast and you'll just see all the LEDs on the board on. I've made a simple example here where we can see the phases being activated in sequence on the LEDs. Normally this goes much too fast to be able to see and we can see the arm moving here just one step every second. I hope that gives you a clearer idea of how the phases are being switched. Coming back now then to the Eligu example, the motor connections that we've already seen and the connections, just the four wires and the ground to the PWM outputs from the Arduino. There it is in their diagram and here we can see it in reality. To the sketch then, the stepper example which we can load in. As always, don't forget to include the stepper library or you'll get some errors. A couple of constants, the steps per revolution, 2048 steps and 15 RPM or revolutions per minute. Here are the connections 8, 9, 10 and 11 for the stepper motor from the Arduino. Nothing to do in the setup apart from initialize the serial port and that will just print out whether it's turning clockwise or anti-clockwise. No surprise then in the loop it goes one revolution clockwise and then waits half a second and then goes counterclockwise. Let's power on the supply now and see it in action. And there we have it, a very simple example of a very powerful concept.